factors with quaternions. Parameterization of hypercomplex modifications with one over n parameters. As we know, fully connected layers, also known as FC layers, are pervasive. Such layers transform an input vector of dimension d into another output vector of dimension k. As the name suggests, FC layers are fully connected, and the parameterization cost of such layers are dominated by the weight matrix, which is a d by k matrix. That's why the parameterization cost is on the order of the product of k and d. So in practice, when d, when the input size or the output size are big, then the parameterization cost can be very high for the FC layers. That's why recent works propose the fully connected layers with quaternions to reduce the parameterization cost. So for context, a quaternion is a four-dimensional hyper-complex number, and the multiplication of two quaternions is called the Hamilton product. And the so-called FC layers with quaternions just replace the real-valued matrix multiplications in the FC layers with the Hamilton products of quaternions. So note that the FC layers with quaternions has only one over four parameters in comparison with their FC layer counterpart. So as you can see in the, the, the matrix form on the left, the, this quaternion trick can reuse the parameters four times via the Hamilton products. So that's why you can, as we just mentioned, such trick will enable the FC layers to have only one over four learnable parameters. However, be aware that the, the hyper-complex multiplication rules only exist at very few predefined dimensions, such as 4D, 4D 8D, and uh, 16D. So in view of this, we propose to learn the multiplication rules from data, regardless of whether such rules are defined on arbitrary dimension. So by doing this, we can provide more architectural flexibility using the arbitrarily one over n learnable parameters compared with the FC layer counterpart. So how we do this? So look at this. So in so compared with our previously shown uh, FC layers. So here we just replace the matrix W with the matrix H here. And the matrix H here is still of the same size, which is a D by K matrix. However, we construct the matrix H by using a sum of n conical products. And conical products will reuse the, the, the parameters. And by using n independent conical products, we can reuse the parameters n times which will allow us to have only one over n learnable parameters in such layer. And since here is a parameterized hyper-complex multiplication, we call this layer PHM layer. And as illustrated on the right-hand side, you can see that although the constructed matrix H can be of a bigger size, the actual learnable parameter size of such a matrix H can be much smaller than the size of H. So mathematically, the parameterization cost of the PHM layer is on the order of KD over N. So here you can see that our parameterized hyper-complex multiplication layer has only one over N parameters in comparison with their FC layer counterpart. So here, note that the, the hyperparameter n is specified by user. So it means that if you, if you use uh, more conical products in the sum, you end up with more parameter saving by replacing the FC layer with the PHM layers. So mathematically, the PHM layers can subsume the hyper-complex multiplications and the real-valued matrix multiplication. So this can be seen as a bridge of the existing multiplication rule 
between the real space and the hyper complex space. And empirically, on artificial data set, we also show that the PHM layers can indeed learn to perform the existing multiplication rules, such as learning the rotations in 3D real space and the Hamilton products in the quartillion space. To demonstrate the effectiveness of the PHM layers, we try to equip the existing uh, LSTM model and the transform model by replacing the FC layers or the matrix modifications with the PHM layers while keeping the rest of the unchanged. So we end up with the PHM LSTM and PHM transformer models. Okay, so here are the experiments. So first, on the natural language inference tasks, we can see that the PHM layers can reduce the parameters and improve the performance with the flexible choices of the hyperparameter n. So as highlighted in the green boxes, you can see that when we increase the hyperparameter n, we can, we can enjoy more parameter saving as expected, while the performance can actually uh, partially match the, the, the other baseline or even improve the baseline, so which is pretty encouraging for the LSTM uh, models. Then for the transform model, we first evaluate on the, um, the neural machine translation tasks. So first of all, um, we, can, we can observe um, like the, the similar results, like when we increase the hyperparameter n, we can have enjoy mo even more uh, parameter saving. And at the same time, we can even further improve the performance with such flexible choices of the hyperparameter n. What is more, on the bottom three rows, we also double the hidden size. So the, we call this rescaling with a factor of two. And in this way, after we double the hidden size, and then we try to reduce the parameters by using by replacing the fully connected layers or the matrix multiplication with the PHM layers, we can also obtain even more effective representations, which will allow us to in further improve the performance. So you can see that this is pretty powerful for transformer because in transformer model, we have a lot of the, the matrix modification, such as on the multi-head attention and the, and the, um, the, the position-wise um, feed-forward networks. So we can just replace all these matrix modification with the FC, with the PHM layers to enjoy the parameter saving while having uh, in while achieving the uh, comparable performance. And in practice, the PHM layers do not increase much computation costs. So for instance, when we choose n to be eight, the inference time is reduced a lot because we reduce the, the number parameter to, to a, um, a bigger e extent. And the training time is also pretty comparable with the that of the standard transformer. And similarly, we can we can observe the uh, the similar results like reducing the parameter while improving performance on more NLP tasks like text style transfer and the subject verb agreement tasks. So in summary, in this work we proposed the parameterized hyper complex multiplication layers, which is the PHM layers. These layers can learn the multiplication rules from data using arbitrarily 1 over n learnable parameters in comparison with the fully connected layer's counterpart. And in the experiments, we also show that these PHM layers can improve both the LSTMs and the transformers on multiple NLP tasks, such as a natural language inference, neural machine translation, text style transfer, and the subject-verb agreement tasks. Thanks. Uh, so moving on to the last paper on quaternions, uh, uh, there was a question from the audience. Uh, uh, there would be many possibilities of reusing parameters. What is the reason why you choose quaternions? Uh, and to that, I, I cannot. So have you considered other sort of low rank uh, uh, factorization methods or tensor train and uh, various other uh, low um, dimensional representations of uh, 
uh, full connectivity matrix. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so first of all, uh, in our early experiments, we, we did try some uh, low rank, like the low rank uh, approximation, which is like a very common, commonly used uh, um, parameter saving or compression techn techniques. I, it will uh, degrade the performance a lot. Then we, uh, we just follow the recent um, Quartillion uh, uh, neural networks uh, model. And then we try that and empirically we find that these models work very well on a few of the NLP tasks that we have uh, investigated. Then we move on to see how we can generalize such uh, quaternion based compression techniques and see how we can even learn those um, quaternion uh, multiplication rules by parameterizing, by parameterizing these rules using our own method. So then uh, we just propose uh, our method and we compare with those quaternion based method. And, uh, and we also find that since our uh, PHM layers can uh, outperform or even perform comparatively with those quaternion based model, and those quaternion based model can um, outperform those uh, low, low rank uh, approximation. So it means that our model is still uh, more effective than like the low rank uh, approximation. But I think that there can be even uh, other uh, compression techniques that we can also see how we can generalize uh, their operations, which could be a very promising future directions. Okay, great. Uh, one final question is, do you think this is more amenable to quantization of, of parameters? Uh, so yeah, so this so quantization is also quite, uh, popular technique for reducing the model, uh, reducing the models. And I think for the, uh, for, so first of all, in, in our work, we show that we can really uh, recover those multiplication rule uh, in uh, the hyper complex multiplications, uh, where, which can be represented by like the small digit, like integer, like minus one, zero and one in a matrix form. And since we can recover that, and we can learn this uh, in by using the, the FP16 or F, FP32 uh, uh, representations, then in this way, we can just recover the, the integers by just rounding them up to the nearest uh, integer numbers. So although in our work, we haven't investigated like how we can just further improve the compression efficiency by just uh, outputting the uh, the integers rather than the floating numbers. So this could also be a future work. Okay, great. Uh, let's conclude with one question from the audience. Uh, from your results, it seems the bigger value of n results in more parameter savings and even better performance. And they ask if you've considered, but the largest value you used is as n equals 16. Have you experimented with larger values for n and what are the results? <laughs> we haven't uh, tried beyond uh, 16, but we, uh, we, we do 16 because 16 is also an existing uh, dimension for the, for the, in the hyper complex space. But we do try some other uh, dimensions like 10, five, which are actually uh, undefined mathematically. Mm -hmm. So, but when we, when we experiment with 16, uh, in most of the experiment, actually the, the accuracy flop a lot. So like, this is a nature trade-off between the parameter saving and the accuracy. Uh, so the optimum is the uh, under 16. Yeah, we, we, we try all the experiments uh, at 16 or, or under 16, no, no, nothing beyond 16. Because the 16, when we see the accuracy drops, then we don't uh, uh, go beyond 16. 